Hello. It's been three months. <laughs> uh, I filmed an intro to this Project Pan back in January, and the idea was to do monthly updates. This is a big group project pan collaboration, partners in cream, and then I got pregnant and wasn't filming at all. So everybody's updates went up today when I'm filming this, and I thought I would, uh, I was already filming a Stitch Fix unboxing, so I thought, hey, you know what? I've got the energy right now. Let's go ahead and film an update for Partners in Cream. And that's what I'm gonna do today. So I didn't wear makeup for a good chunk of time and during my first trimester, but I do have some updates and I, I, I'm gonna not promise anything, but I'm gonna do my best to make these updates and make a point to use these products because I have been wearing makeup pretty consistently nowadays and I have hope. So, <laughs> Dylan and Steph created this project pan. I will leave the playlist down below if you'd like to check everybody else's updates. This is only my first update technically and I've got two things that I'm rolling out. One, because I'm rolling it out and I'm decluttering it. One, because I used it up, hit my goal and need to roll something else in. And then two, that I'm still using because I didn't use that much of in the last three months. So let's start with the most exciting thing. The thing that I've used up, which no surprise, was the skincare item that I rolled into this project pan. Um, so this is the Ordinary, the Buffet Multi-Technology Peptide Serum. So you can see I had like half of this left and I used the rest of it up pretty consistently. I still stayed pretty consistent with my skincare even though I wasn't wearing any makeup. And I actually, when I started using this consistently, liked it. I don't know if I liked it enough to buy it again, but I did not not like it. Like I definitely liked it enough to use it up. The Ordinary is pretty inexpensive also, so that was kind of nice, but I'm, I was pretty excited to get this used up because it had been in my collection for a while. And I'm rolling something in that has kind of just been sitting in the back of my shelving unit in my bathroom that I used for a long time and enjoyed and then just stopped using right when I was almost done with it. So I'm throwing it in this project to get it used up. I'm sure that this will take me just the month to use up and then I'll roll some other skincare item in. But it's this right here. This is, um, you can see I haven't used it in so long cause there's dust on the cap, ew. Um, so this is by Good Molecules. This is the Niacinamide Brightening Toner formulated with Niacinamide Vitamin C, Arbutin and licorice root extract to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores. So I have, I don't know, oh, you can't really see through the bottle at all, but I just have like this much left. So really not that much. I don't know why I didn't just use up this product. I honestly don't remember how I really feel about this product, even though I clearly used so much of it. I want to get it used up and get it out of my bathroom, off my shelf. Uh, obviously, I, I liked it enough to use it almost all the way up. So we'll see if I can get, I mean, maybe a month left, month of use out of it. I feel like it'll probably be more like two weeks because um, there's really not that much left in here. But maybe that'll give me a good idea if I like it enough. But I do have a lot of skincare items right now, so I definitely don't need to go buying anything new, especially something like a specialty item, like a toner or a serum, because I've got a fair amount of those. But we're rolling this in which is exciting. So that's product number one. And we'll go ahead and talk about the one thing that I'm rolling out um, because it's just it's just no good and I'm gonna roll something else in. So it is the Super Shock Shadow that I rolled into this project. I mentioned during my intro video, I did go rewatch that because it's been so long. And um, I mentioned in that video that this was already drying up during the intro and I tried to tap it on top of the eyeshadow that I already had on and it just sucked. <laughs> like. I have way too much makeup to be using stuff that I don't like using. So, I don't like using this anymore. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Birthday Cake. Um, this is one of their limited edition ones. And I, I, if I'm not mistaken, when I first got this, I wasn't that super impressed. It's a very chunky, glittery shadow to begin with. And I think because of that, it just dried out really fast. So, this is what I've got. I didn't use that much of it. Well, that's actually a lie. I did use this a handful of times. Now that I'm thinking about it, I used this quite a bit and I kept expecting to hit my goal on this, which was to just display the little center pan. And I, and I never did, even though I used it quite a bit. And so now I'm just, I used it today for the first time in, in probably like a month and I just didn't like it. So I'll kind of give you, it's just, 
chunky and it's just like a bunch of chunky glitter. I'm simply not impressed. It doesn't look like much at all and I don't enjoy using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one and I am gonna roll in a, another Super Shock Shadow. This is another one of my older ones. And then after this one, I think I just have my most recent ColourPop Super Shock purchases, which are the Robbie D. Christie ones. And those ones I absolutely love. So I think I'll move on to those and try and pan those after I'm done with this one. And then I'll have Pan in all of my Super Shock shadows. How exciting. <laughs> uh, so this newest shade is the shade Twitter Pated. This is another one where it's getting a little dry. Here's where I'm starting. We've definitely got a little divot in there already. And I'll give a swatch right here. So this one also like will definitely take some building up. I, I definitely think I like this one way more. I mean, they look kind of similar, but you can tell that this one has like a pinky peachy shift to it. And it's more of a sheen, less of a chunky glitter. With a sponge tipped applicator too, this will go on a lot thicker onto the eye. So my goal with this, just like with my other Super Shock shadows, is to hit pan on it. And I think that this is a very spring summer kind of shade. So I expect I'll have no problem with that. Okay, and my last two cream items. Um, the first is one I almost considered also rolling out, but I decided not to because I didn't I didn't feel like I gave it a good enough shot in the last few months. So this is my Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust eyeshadow in the shade Solstice. I did kind of put it on a little bit over my eyeliner today. Well, I don't have eyeliner on. I just had like a darker shadow smudged on my line, my liner line, my my lash line, that's the word I was looking for. So I've only used this maybe twice, three times since my intro. And my goal with this product was to use it 20 times. So I have another 17 times to go. <laughs> um, it's definitely a kind of a challenging shadow to use. I'm not really sure how to use it, except like as kind of a liner. I, I mentioned in my intro video trying to use this as a floating liner, like in the crease. So maybe I'll try that. I feel like because I have such hooded eyes that the glitter from this will just transfer all over the place. So we'll have to see, but I'm gonna give this another shot. I really wanna try and use it between now and the next update. If I don't, I think it's time to roll it out and probably just declutter it. If I do and I decide to, I like it, I'll keep using it up to my 20 times. Uh, if I do and then I decide I don't like it, then I'll roll it out. So we'll see. Hopefully I have something to say about this in the next update. And the last one is a lip product. It is what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is the Bite Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the shade Pepper. I haven't used this much at all. Um, I haven't been wearing a whole lot, a lot of lip products because I have hardly been wearing makeup at all. And then also when I do wear makeup and I go out, you can't really wear lipstick because you know, the whole mask situation. So I am wearing it today um, and I, I do really like it. I don't know why I haven't reached for it more, but my goal with this was to use it halfway down and I haven't, um, I haven't yet. So I think I've only used this two, three times. So I've definitely got a ways to go on this one, but I do really like it and I feel like I could use it as a blush and a lipstick. Um, so maybe I'll try and get some use out of it that way in the future. But there you go. These are now my four Partners in Cream Project Pan items. Um, I'm excited. I definitely think I definitely think I'll get this used up by the next update, and I really hope to have a lot more progress on the lipstick, a lot more things to say about this eyeshadow, and then I don't know if I'll hit my goal on this eyeshadow, but maybe, maybe. I feel like I could definitely get a good amount of use out of this in the next month, but we shall see in my next update, which should be in May. I'm in the second trimester now, right? They say that this is the this is the great trimester. So ideally, I'll be feeling perfectly fine in the, for the next three ish months. But I guess we'll see. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss future updates from me, consider subscribing. I think that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.